Now she mesmerized audiences on ITV Stars in Their Eyes in her tribute performance to Karen Carpenter. Now Tony Lee is back to well audiences. She takes to the stage again, starring as Karen Carpenter in We've Only Just Begun. The Love Songs, a celebration of the Carpenters. And Tony joins me now to tell us all about the show. Good morning, Good to, morning you. to you. I've just all it does immediately conjure up beautiful melodies, beautiful songs of the wonderful Karen Carpenter. It's, all you have to do is mention that one line, it's only just begun. Yeah, everybody just goes into a dream. <laughs> I know, they go into that thing. When did you start singing and performing? Well, do you really want to know? Yes, tell when us. I, when I was about this big, right. on my potty. Oh, really? Okay, well, <laughs> yeah. maybe we didn't need to know that. <laughs> I used to shunt up and down the, hall, up and down the hallway when I was very young, because my dad was in a a pop group in the, in the 60s called Vanity Fair, All right. which you may be familiar with. Um, and I used to sing one of their songs up and down. I used to sing, when it's early in the morning and shunting along. Oh, so it started party. then. <laughs> That's a sight. Yeah, and I was there, yeah, I sure was. And then I always sung, played music. And it was really from the age of seven when I started listening to the Carpenters. That singing early? Along. Yeah, straight away. It was in the sort of 1970, mm -hmm. early 70s, wasn't it? And I just absolutely loved them, played them all the time. And that, I was always singing in my room. I always wanted to be a singer, but I was a closet singer. I was too right. scared and too shy to let the world the see. The looking yeah, in the mirror. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> definitely. And then you started, you were in an ABBA-type tribute band, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I was, um, I, I started off doing musical theatre, any, any amateur. Um, but I used to love, I used to sit the dancing bit, but always loved the singing. Mm -hmm. And I got picked up by a band at the time. And... Um, I joined them and we used to do all the covers and there was another girl in the band and she had the naturally the, the red hair and I had the long blonde, blonde hair. hair and we used to chuck in the odd ABBA song and then that kind of wedding let's form an ABBA tribute and we formed a big ABBA tribute band and we used to do all the theatres over in UK and a few, a few abroad as well and so it went from there and then I always longed to sing these Carpenters songs never got the opportunity but then eventually you know that, and when, that when did people like when did people start telling you that you sounded like were, did people always tell you when you sang that you sounded a bit yeah, like Karen Carpenter? It, it's uncanny really and the very first person to tell me I would say he uh, doesn't want me to mention him but it's my son Harry and he was very little and we were in the car and uh, I was playing Carpenters. Is this Harry here? Yeah, he doesn't want Harry's to. Harry's here said in to the me, studio this morning. Please don't let me know. Anyone know? I'm not going to look. <laughs> and um, we're sitting in the car playing Carpenters, and he went, "That's Mummy." And I went, "No, no, darling, it's the Carpenters. No, it's Mummy." And he was really adamant, and because he'd heard me singing in, you know, Carpenters occasionally. And then it was just at shows and gigs I did. People would always come up at the end and. I sort of started listening to myself where I was recorded and mm -hmm. thought, crikey, yeah, there is a likeness there. I didn't try. I, I, I feel that it comes natural, which is a real honour. And so, so voice. when did you then decide to do the whole tribute piece then? It was mainly, I suppose, the Stars in the Rise, because I was on Stars mm. in the Rise when Cat Dealey did it. Yeah. And uh, that, that kind of really made me think, because that gave you a real boost of confidence. And to be on a sound alike show, then, hey, I must sound like her. And then obviously seeing the playback afterwards, and it was just un it was uncanny. And to say, oh, I'm just really proud. It's lovely. I really enjoy it. And there's such beautiful songs to sing. They are just some beautiful yeah. songs. Why do you think they're still so popular now? Like people really love them. Do you know? I, d I actually asked the question this morning. When I get asked that question, it's really hard to put to words why the Carpenters are still so well loved. I mean, if you saw actually ask somebody, it's like, well, they were just great. Mm. The, the songs just hit you right here, and the way she sang. She delivers, well, she delivered songs so beautifully from the heart. She had that ache in her soul. And I think from what we hear about Karen Carpenter and reading books and stuff, yeah. she had such a sad life. Yeah. And it's almost like she was reaching out with these the lyrics and the way she sang. And it just comes across, but it's just timeless. And you're going to sing for us this morning. I know it's I, very early. Very, it's I've been very early. Practicing in the toilets. <laughs> but the tour, the tour starts where and when? Right, well, actually, this, uh, this evening we're at the National Concert Hall oh, in tonight. Dublin. Great, great venue. Sold out a few weeks ago, wow, so fantastic. not one single seat left. So we may be a few people queuing up outside for cancellations, but hopefully they'll want to cancel. It's literally fully booked. Since Terence that was is a joining us ago. here now because Terence is um, going to play with you. So you're in the your concert hall sold out tonight, but then yep. you're around the country as well. We are. We got a tour in, uh, in November. The next one is actually the 17th of September at the Riverbank in Newbridge. Mm -hmm. And we've got the big one on the 12th of November at the Grand Canal Theatre oh, in right. Dublin. That's yeah. a fantastic venue. Huge venue, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And then the, we're in Limerick on the 27th of November, the Theatre Royale. And people can catch
catch all these on yes. Karen Carpenter on your Facebook yes. page. If they go onto the Facebook, I'll, I'll keep all the dates logged on there so people can have a look. Okay, well, we'd love to and hear to you Tony sing. Lee. Terence has joined us now to accompany you. What are you going to sing for us? We're going to sing Yesterday Once More. Yesterday Once More. Tony, take it away. Okay, thank you. Such happy 